hello everyone in this video I'm going to show you how you're going to answer Google Forms on Google Classroom so suppose we are already in the Google Classroom page so here are your classes then you select your class here then classwork then go to some tests then this is actually a teacher's view so no problem it doesn't matter this is just how to show you how you're going to answer google forms so there are actually two google forms here the logo for google forms is actually this one the violet with with a uh, sided punctuation marks so here you can actually select either one of these google forms so suppose you want to to select this one and yeah later we're going to see both of them because there are actually uh, different questions and different types of of uh, questions that being used here so let's just select this one first and you will be notified with this one you're being asked uh, how to open it with so either you want to use Chrome or the Google or Safari so I'll choose Safari because if I'm going to choose uh, either of these two Chrome and Google I need to download it so I don't have time for downloading it so I'll just go to Safari so open Safari and then here um, this is actually like uh, a document on Google Docs so I need to go further to Safari uh, just tap on the lower right corner here to go directly to Safari okay so this is actually how your Google Forms look like so there are different types of questions and answer here so I'll just show you the first question here is um, a short answer so the question is uh, different forms of gene of the same gene are known as blank so you need to answer it by typing whatever it is so let's say sad this is just a random word because I don't want my students to see it so maybe is so these are just random words so question one and question two question one and question two actually is a short answer you will be needing to answer it with two words or one word so this one let's just put random words there and here uh, the next question this is actually a multiple choice question so the question is in mice black four is dominant and blah 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 so you need to select on these three items or three choices here either black white so as you can see you can only select one of them okay so this is a multiple choice question so the next question is the same multiple choice question so we are actually answering it already and we're going to see what will happen after we go we're finished answering all of them so another one a multiple choice question you will know that this is a multiple choice question because it has a circle and you can only select one of them and after this there is another set of questions just tap here next this one and up after that you'll be directed to the next page so same goes here it is actually a short answer it's just 
write some random letters here and other random letters here and yep another random letters and uh, another one here okay so this is actually the final question this is the explaining part so you are asked here to answer with a sentences or just a single sentence up to your capacity and this is actually a long answer so you're asked to explain why most people would not know that they are carrier of a genetically inherited disorder so i just uh, type in random letters because i'm just actually showing you how to answer this one so it, when you're done you can actually go back if you want to check everything before submitting so if you're satisfied with that you can go next and then again after reviewing the second page if you're satisfied with it you can click submit or top top submit after submitting you can uh, see this page it says that you can actually view your score here when you tap this you will actually see your score so it has been recorded so let's see how much score we actually got so it will be redirected to a new video or a new screen rather I'm sorry so here this is actually a new page you will see the answers so you got total of 3 out of 14 on these questions so you can see there all your wrongs of course that is wrong because it's a random one okay the short answer actually has has a correct answer with it and on this final question here you will see that I put points will be or point will be added for the correct response to these questions so I need to read your answer on this question first and I'll just add it to your final answer so suppose um, you got this one wrong take note if you got this one wrong don't worry I'll be actually reading your answers here and I will add it to your final answer or final points so instead of um, 3 out of 14 so suppose you got the last question correct this worth 3 points here then I'll just add it in your total points that makes it 6 over 14 almost but not quite you didn't pass though so this is one of the Google Forms and let's go to the other one so let's say going to this one so same procedure as we did earlier let's go to Safari here this type of question is you can choose multiple answers so let's say you selected all of them so as you can see you can select deselect the answers so suppose you selected all of them which is actually wrong you cannot actually select all of them points will be deducted if you do so I I don't uh, want you to do this otherwise you will have no score for this one so the next question is multiple choice the third question is same as with the first question 
the next question is the short answer and uh, yep that is how it works so same thing submit this is only one page so there's no need to have the next page or or the other okay so this is how you're going to answer Google Forms on a Google Classroom assignment that is given to you by your teacher. So hope you you understand my explanation. Otherwise, leave a comment below.